Happy summertime and welcome to Blending with Henry. Hey you guys, how you doing? My name is Henry. It is summertime, the weather is beautiful, and everybody wants something cold and frosty to drink. But the adults want to have some fun too. So today I'm making a strawberry daiquiri. Now, just to let you guys know, I do not profess to be a mixologist, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys how to make it easy on your Vitamix and a nice way to present it to your guests. The perfect drink for any time. Now here's the recipe. Two whole lines peel, one cup of fresh frozen strawberries, eight ounces of white rum, three fourths cup of simple sugar syrup, four cups of ice. Blend for one minute and let's get started. To make this delicious daiquiri, I'll be using the Vitamix 7500. To begin the recipe, I'll be using two whole limes and I like using whole fruit rather than buying some store bought mixes. One cup of frozen strawberries, but these aren't packaged frozen strawberries. Let me show you. I'm using a flat of fresh strawberries with the leaves still attached. I just set them right in the freezer for a couple of hours. All right, now here's where the magic happens, the Bacardi rum. Okay. <laughs> Now the recipe does call for eight ounces of white rum. Now if you want to, you can always add a little bit more. You know, if it's a Saturday night and you want to have a little more fun. Okay. <laughs> but I think you guys are going to be just fine with the eight ounces. I know it worked fine for me. <laughs> Next is three-fourths of a cup of simple sugar syrup. Now this is much easier to use because it's already dissolved. And you can actually buy it from the store, but don't bother. I'll show you how to make it. In a saucepan, add one cup of granulated sugar and one cup of cold filtered water. On medium heat, begin to stir and stir and stir and stir <laughs> and stir. <laughs> Now you can leave it in the saucepan for about a half an hour to cool. So I'm just showing you right here what the finished product looks like. And there's your simple sugar syrup. Next add four cups of ice. Now make sure it's the organic vegan version. You guys did get that right, okay. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Securing the lid in place. And now I'm going to start off on variable speed 1 and slowly increase to the highest speed. You want to check for all the small bits and particles to make sure they're being blended up into a smooth texture. And you also want to check the top to make sure that the whirlpool is pointing the ingredients downward. Your total blend time should be no more than one minute. Now check out that texture you guys, it looks luscious and smooth. But we're not finished yet. I'm going to move the Vitamix backwards a bit and show you how to present this to your guests. Now I'm using these mason jars you guys because they have a double wall construction that keeps your drink frozen for a longer period of time. Plus they're more laid back and less formal for your casual guests. Now I'm recommending using a spatula to release some of the air pockets because this may happen if you don't. Whoa! You want to see that again? <laughs> so just give it a couple of turns okay so you don't make a Henry mistake okay. <laughs> Now use your spatula to assist in pouring the strawberry daiquiri in your mason jars. Now remember, since the daiquiri is frozen, it could pour out pretty fast, you guys, so take your time. 
Now, your patience will pay off after your first drink. <laughs> I assure you, okay? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Whoa, you guys, I can smell the strawberries, the fresh lime, and, of course, that rum. That rum. That rum. <laughs> Now I'm going to garnish the plate with some fresh strawberries, and this will give your guests an idea about what they're actually drinking. And now I'm going to garnish the drinks with fresh strawberries. And again, this gives your guests an idea about what they're actually drinking, and it also dresses up the plate. And now these nuts. <laughs> now these bar nuts are so good. They're made with rosemary, butter, brown sugar, salt, and spices. The perfect snack with your strawberry daiquiri. If you guys want the recipe for the bar nuts, the link will be in the description below. Now add festive straws to match the color of your daiquiris. And there you go. This platter of strawberry daiquiris and bar nuts are sure to be a big hit for yourself and especially for your guests. You gotta try it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe for future video updates. And you can purchase a Vitamix or a Blendtec through me, save money, and get some special perks. Contact me for more details. Now, you guys, I need your support. Supporting me means more future video content for you guys. Now, please remember to visit me at www.blendingwithhenry.com. Blending with Henry is also on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. And I will see you all next time.